So we're hooking up a dehumidifier to the system and it's all gonna be controlled by Nest thermostat. That's the dehumidifier up there. So we have it, its own little return, pulling out of that skylight right there. And then it connects to the return, uh, connects to the return plenum. You can't see it, but it's on the other side. All right, so you got it in a drain pan, just in case. We got a float switch, which is wired directly into that with the vent. Uh, didn't call for a, uh, a trap, so we didn't put one in based on the instruction manual. Uh, so originally, uh, he has a first generation uh, nest, which does not support anything other than heating, cooling, and fan. Um, so we had to get a third generation, which does support additional um, uh, equipment. But when we put it in, it wasn't working right. Um, so we put in the old one, it worked fine. Uh, jumped everything, worked fine. So thought initially it was a uh, faulty uh, thermostat, a, a defective one. Uh, but when I came up and looked at this, we had a BioGuard, which is this guy here, and we have an air scrubber, which is over there, all tied into the same transformer. Now, when it comes to Nest thermostats, you can't have any other device on the same transformer except for just a circuit board. So if you have any kind of uh, indoor air quality um, devices, they have to be on an independent circuit from the circuit that the Nest is on. Otherwise, it will not work right. And I guess this is something to do with the third generation because the first generation worked fine with it this way. <coughs> so <coughs> I found that uh, it was all on the same uh, transformer. So I removed all that and hooked it all back up and it worked totally fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install a new transformer, uh, and which will be independent of that one. And it will run specifically just the indoor air quality stuff. Uh, that way it doesn't interfere with the nest at all. And then once I get that all done and I test the nest and everything's working, then we'll hook up this guy. Which should be inter be interesting because we have to use a um, a relay to make it work. So anyway, I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and uh, get it wired up, and we should be good to go. So we'll be back. Okay, so we got the dehumidifier all wired up. We're gonna crank it on and set it up. Hopefully everything works. Here's our new transformer for all our uh, I IAQ stuff all wired in independently. And then this is our transformer for our uh, thermostat and our circuit board. This right here is the relay which will con control the uh, dehumidifier. And then this wire here, this leads to the dehumidifier, <coughs> which connects into that right there like that. So hopefully this works. And then I can go to another call. Alrighty. Seems to be working. <laughs> <laughs> 